So we're here looking at our 50 gigabits per second silicon photonics link. Uh, it's what we're using the marriage of CMOS manufacturing and lasers bringing them together in a very high speed connection. So we want to make really small devices that go really fast in order to transport all the data movement we're going to have in the future. So what you can see over here is our test rig running where we have a transmitter with four electrical signals coming in driving four lasers and modulators and a multiplexer that pulls those four optical signals together and sends it through as one signal on the cable. A receiver that detects that and converts it back to electrical signal. The uh, aggregate bandwidth is 50 gigabits per second, so it's extremely, extremely fast. So it's going to handle the types of uh, applications you have here, such as high def video, uh, the 3D images. So there's a lot of content coming, a data wave coming in the future. So we need these types of capabilities. Uh, silicon photonics is based on a CMOS manufacturing process. So it's scalable, it's fast, uh, it's easy to manufacture, it's low cost to manufacture, and we bring lasers to that. So it's high band. So over here, you can see the actual parts. They're really tiny, they're about the size of a thumbnail. So we can finally get optical computing into the platform not only around the platform, but into the platform. So you can have high-speed I.O. within the platform, and then high-speed I.O. outside of the platform. So we're really excited about what we're running here. We have 50 gigabits per second to start. Uh, the technology then is scalable to a terabit, a terabit per second and beyond. We can make the individual optical channels faster. We can lay down more of these optical channels because it's a CMOS process. When do you actually expect this to make it into a uh, commercial PC? I mean, is that 20 years away, or is that...? Uh, no, what we can really imagine sort of putting plans together it would be probably middle of this decade. Wow, okay. So we're part of Intel Labs. Uh, we're not the business unit. Like, we don't set the pricing, we don't set the sure. product. Uh, as with anything from the labs, we can really drive for and push for this to be a product. You can imagine in the middle of the decade this will be ready for productization. Would it be sort of a long distance? I mean, we're talking like 10 meter kind of range? Uh, no, it's a great question, actually. Um, telecom products, optical telecom products, like the backbone of the internet, are optical, exist today. Okay? They're long distances, they're extremely high reliability, um, and they're very expensive. Right? Uh, volume is low, uh, assembly is semi tesla The idea here was to get 90% you know, of the bandwidth of that telecom market, but at 10%. Uh, of the, the cost. Okay. So to do that, we have to lower the power. At the same time, we want to fit into from consumer electronics devices to high performance computing. Uh, the power envelope that, that telecom has is not supported in those markets. So we're at tens of meters. Okay. So, I mean, realistically, it seems like Intel has always sort of used the power of the commodity parts. This will probably actually be, this is not something made for very small volume, this is something we'll get everywhere. And do the do that volume will be able to drive the yeah, price down and drive the bit absolutely. lower. Absolutely, at its very core, it's a CMOS process, silicon photonic. So we want to use that uh, high volume manufacturing engine. So instead of you know individually laying lasers down through a CMOS high volume, we put down a hundred lasers at one time. So yeah, absolutely drive down the cost and uh, silicon photonics. Also, what we've done here right from the start is drive down the cost of the connectorization. So it's passive connectorization. It's not active, it's not you know, critical alignment. It's all done in a low-cost passive connector. You know, certainly research concept vehicle. And it's so there's no way we're going to put a telecom structure in it. The beauty of this too then is um, it's small enough that we can put it into a consumer electronics device. Like a smartphone, um, you know, a, a tablet but then we can scale it, so we can bring it all the way up to HVC, right, high performance grain. Right. So that too drives up, right, we can address that whole market. Okay. If you're taking something that's targeted for high performance computing, it's very hard to drive that down in a consumer electronics space. Cool, awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much.